In this video, we're going to look at ways of making selections in Pro Tools. Before we get started, you're going to want to make sure that you have Link Timeline and Edit Selection enabled in the Edit Window toolbar. Making separate Timeline and Edit Selections is something that we'll cover in a more advanced video. The first way that we can make a selection in Pro Tools is to use the Time Base Ruler. With any tool selected, I can simply go to the Time Base Ruler and click and drag to make a selection. One additional benefit of making selections this way is that it will automatically extend the selection across all of the tracks. Notice that I can see the timeline selection in and out points in the ruler, and I can also see information about the selection in the Edit Selection fields because I'm working with the Timeline and Edit Selections linked. Once you have a selection, you can click and drag the Mark In or Out point to modify it. Another way to make a selection in Pro Tools is to use the Grabber tool to select a clip on a track. And once again, because my timeline and edit selections are linked, Pro Tools will automatically make the corresponding selection in the main time base ruler. If I go to the selector tool, I can click and drag to make a selection, or I can double click on a clip to get a similar result to using the grabber. A great way to make a really accurate selection is to type the start, end, or length into the edit selection fields. For example, if I wanted a selection to start exactly at bar 17, I could click into the Start field, enter 17, and press Return or Enter. If you know exactly where you want a selection to end, you can enter a value into the End field. And finally, the Length field allows you to specify an exact length for the selection. This makes it really easy to change this existing 4-bar selection to an 8-bar selection. Now let's take a look at making selections across multiple tracks. Using the selector tool, it's easy to click and drag vertically to extend a selection across multiple tracks. You can also make a selection across non-adjacent tracks by making the initial selection and then holding down the shift key while you select the additional tracks. Another way to do this is to enable link track and edit selection in the edit window toolbar and then hold the Command key on Mac or the Control key on Windows to add non-adjacent tracks. Or to select a range of tracks, select the first track and then hold Shift and click on the last track. If I want to remove a track from the selection, once again I'll hold either the Command key on Mac or the Control key on Windows and click on the track that I want to remove. Another handy way to make selections in Pro Tools is to use the Tab key. Standard tab functionality moves you from region boundary to region boundary. For example, if I press tab, I'll move to the start of the next clip on the track. If I press tab again, I'll move to the end of that clip. If I press tab a third time, I'll move to the start of the next clip. If I'd like to move in reverse, I can press either option tab on the Mac or control tab on Windows. And then I'll step backwards through the clips on the track. To make a selection, I simply hold the Shift key while I press Tab. I can also make selections while using Tab to Transients. First I'll enable Tab to Transients in the Edit Window toolbar. This will change the Tab key functionality so that as I press Tab, the cursor will stop on each transient inside the clip. Just like with the regular Tab functionality, Pressing Option Tab on the Mac or Control Tab on Windows will move me backwards through the transients. And if I hold down the Shift key, I can use Tab to Transients to make a selection. 